Supply chain, I think over the years and especially over the past three years, has and has been acknowledged to be something that's end-to-end. -end. And when we say end-to-end, -end, the boundaries are not limited to the organization or to the company. Once we understand that, we've got to ask ourselves how to ensure that we are resilient, starting from your suppliers, and that could be your tier three, tier two, tier one suppliers, up until your customer and consumer. And when you do that, you realize you are not alone. And supply chain becomes a team sport, and that's where the ecosystem approach comes in. Because the question we are asking ourselves is not how can I succeed, but how can the ecosystem help us to succeed because of the fact that we have this end-to-end -end approach and, and that's the way the world works now because it's more and more global yeah. and there are more and more interconnections. Interdependencies are key and supply chain is as resilient as its weakest link. So the more we understand where that weakest link is through our ecosystem, the better we will be at identifying and addressing those risks together. See, I come from India, so everything that I talk about sometimes has an elephant in there. So if you've heard of the story of the six blind men and the elephant, each blind person touching a part of the elephant and trying to think that they know the image when they are blindfolded, right? That's the kind of story that comes to mind when you think of supply chain and ecosystem. The supply chain ecosystems, especially in automotive, are so big that if you're gonna look at it just individually from your little vantage point, you're never gonna be able to appreciate uh, what is going on in there. And so when you take off those blindfolds and look at it, it's, it looks to be you know, humongous. And, and let me give you a, a real-time example of this in kind of comparison to the analogy. So now if you're looking at a, you're, you're standing in a command center in a headquarters of a large automotive company, let's say in Montreal, and looking at the entire supply chain uh, from right from the OEM to you know the suppliers and you're able to see it visually a lot of ideas will start coming to you when you can have that kind of visibility you will start to think of okay so how can I start combining some shipping routes such that empty containers from five different suppliers are not coming into my um, factory at one time. So kind of having to optimize on lower emissions as a result of that. You can start thinking of, oh, these 10 suppliers use the same packaging material. How about I get them to all form a consortium and start to recycle some of this packaging material? So again, when you start looking at it in a visible ecosystem format, you can start to take a lot of corrective action which can give you exponential returns very, very quickly. So that's the, that's the importance of the ecosystem.